are very, very removed from the earth in a typical sheetrock concrete block building, which is why we are destroying the earth. We have no clue of what the earth is anymore. And the earthship is a product of the earth. We want humans to align with and partner with the earth instead of partnering with a utility company. My name is Michael Reynolds and I'm from Taos, New Mexico, and we have been actually evolving this Earthship concept for 50 years, and I see no end in sight. We didn't want it to be called house because house already has a preconceived idea. House is a box with a roof like this that's hooked up to utility grids. An Earthship is a machine that encounters the biology and the physics of the planet to provide what we call the six basic things that every human must have for sustenance. And those things are comfortable shelter, electricity, water, food, sewage treatment, and garbage treatment. So the main building blocks of Earthships are tires, bottles, cans, and dirt. And Earthships are built to be environmentally friendly and self-sustaining. When you live in an Earthship, you don't have a water bill, an energy bill, a heating bill, and you could even grow your own food. So you're living in harmony with the planet instead of depleting its resources and killing it. The tires are the start. They are the walls and the foundation, and we beat dirt into them. And then as you can see over there, we're packing between the tires with cement and cans. And that stiffens up the wall to fill those voids. And then bottles come into play last. We use them for like stained glass interior walls that let sunlight come through them and they, they actually look like stained glass. Bottles have become gold. Tires have become gold. And what's really funny is we are the richest people in the world because people are begging us to take their gold. We want what nobody else wants because it's valuable. We're trying to demonstrate that you can have a life that is more secure and even better being off the grid. And that is the evolutionary step that I think we have to take. It's not just designed for off-grid living. You can have your washer dryer, you can have your kitchen if you want. So it's, it's not about minimization, it's about any kind of modern life lived better and lived more effectively and lived more efficiently. Well, living and raising the family and the Earthship, it must be different from a conventional home. Uh, not that I can hardly remember what that's like, but uh, for sure, we are more in tune with the environment around us. Earthships really address every issue we have, if you think about it. Climate-wise, health-wise, conservation-wise, energy-wise, shelter-wise, and especially in underprivileged areas and areas affected by natural disasters. We teach people how to build Earthships through our academy program, and we build Earthships all over the world to help people in need. We have developed a way of doing it around the world that usually involves 50 or 60 people. So every Earthship that happens is a result of a festival of people all working and learning together. And I would like to see the whole concept of Earthships growing out of America and spreading around the world. I would like to see America provide sustenance for every man, woman, and child all over the world. And it's not that America would be providing it, it's America would be demonstrating the concept of how these people could do it themselves. If America could take this and spread it, America would truly be the sought after country of the world.